It wins 50% of the time and ties 70% of the time against humans on tasks. So this does mean that a lot of tasks can be removed from humans. And that obviously has large impacts on jobs. So a job is, this isn't replacing jobs specifically, this is replacing subtasks within a job. Because every job you do is not just one thing. You don't just do one task again and again. Generally, you have admin, you have operational stuff, you have meetings, you have you know, all of the other stuff around your core task. So things like spreadsheets, presentations, document creation, etc. GTP 5.2 is extremely good at, better than humans in a lot of cases. That does not necessarily mean that the core task of your job, whatever that is, that the AI is better at it. It does not protect you from the future, though, because as this is moving fast into all areas of human intelligence. I think this has gone under the radar, that it is better or equal to human experts on 70% plus of GDP positive tasks. That 70% should be scary. Even if you're a very pro AI, that should stop you in your tracks and be like, oh, here we go. This might be it. We are very close to the AGI and removing tasks from our jobs and removing jobs entirely if not a next year in a year or two because everything is moving extremely fast it doesn't matter how positive you are about artificial intelligence that 70 percent should cause concern and then this is compared to the previous models so gpt5 thinking fell way below it's about 40 percent wins and ties gpt5.2 thinking is now at 71 percent gpt5.2 pro the 200 dollars a month package is about 75% winning or tying with human knowledge workers on various tasks. See the tasks, they actually have a whole list of them, which is really interesting. Um, let's have a look. These are the particular jobs. Professional, scientific and technical, software developers, lawyers, accountants, auditors, project management, financial insurance, customer service representatives, financial managers, financial investment analysis, etc. It has the jobs and tasks broken up. I'll put this in the newsletter because GDP Val is really cool. And it's worth looking into because this gives us a more realistic idea of whether or not these AIs can take jobs. The other benchmarks like the International Math Olympiad or Humanities Last Exam, they're quite abstracted from what we do on the day to day, which is Excel spreadsheets, presentations, talking to customers and meetings, the core work. That's where AIs have an impact.